Hello, beautiful soul. Let me guide you into a beautiful, deep, restorative, rejuvenating sleep. Or if you're listening to this during the daytime, into a meditative state where you let go. You let go of old ideas and beliefs that don't bless your life. You let go of the patterns, thoughts, and habits that have brought you misery or held you back. This is your time. Your time to soak up like a dry sponge placed in water, positive affirmations. This is your time to let your body drop, relax, let go. And like a hot air balloon that releases its weight to float up to this high energy where you connect up with wisdom, truths, knowledge, wisdom, clarity, insights that the purpose of life is to enjoy, to create. And let the sound of my voice relax the body. Still the mind. Feel yourself going loose and limp. Super relaxed, super comfortable, super lazy. Take some beautiful deep belly sigh breaths so you bring in the oxygen deep from your pelvic area up to your heart. And on the exhale, feel like a hot air balloon that releases its weight. You can feel yourself letting go, letting go, letting go. And like that hot air balloon that releases its weight, it floats up. Tap into your senses. Notice maybe how comfortable or just that feeling of your body sinking into the chair or the bed or the place that you're at. Feel your body, imagine it, even if it's not happening. Imagine. And if you can't imagine, just imagine imagining of your body dropping, sinking, Letting go, releasing. This is your time. Your time to set yourself free. So we are breaking the negative attachments. Letting go of having to prove yourself. What a relief. You get to be human. You get to have failures and make mistakes. Just like all of us. And feel the sound of my voice drop you into this beautiful, deep, supportive state where you soak up positive energies, positive affirmations that will bless your life, that will give you relief, comfort, peace, hope, optimism, positive expectations, trust that life was meant work out for you, that life will work out for you, that life is working out for you. Letting the neck go super heavy, super relaxed. It is safe to let go, let go of trying to prove yourself. What a relief. How freeing is it to go to this allowing, open, receptive state so that you become like a duck in water. The water beats off the duck's feathers effortless and easily. Well, when we soak in the energy of love, bad ideas, they just beat off you like water off a duck's back, but you don't have to take offense at others' actions, others' words. Let the sound of my voice imagine, you can feel it sinking, dropping, relaxing the shoulders, the body, 
getting comfortably, comfortably heavy. And imagine all the outside noise is guiding you within to this open, receptive, and allowing state. You came in pre-loved, pre-approved of, pre-liked, pre-accepted that God source infinite intelligence, spirit, higher power, the benevolent and loving universe said, I'll be there for you. That your good is already created in energy. It exists. It's there uniquely for you. That this higher benevolent loving energy says yes to your well-being that wants you to laugh, to play. More and more you're going to notice when you have a thought that feels negative. You get and you understand. It's just a part of you that wants to guide you, to keep you safe, to make sure you make positive choices. And we're going to tap into the energy that energy of wisdom that you know from your life experience, from the past. You have proven that feeling good coming from a loving, open, receptive state has served you. That you have proven excessively fixating and worrying and negatively judging others has brought you misery, suffering, pain, when you get, when you know that when you're in that energy of love and love feels light, it feels soft, it feels playful, creative, curious, when you're in that beautiful energy and space, you know, you know when to say no, you know when to let something go, you know when to speak up. It's that beautiful place where you can listen and follow and act on your wisdom and inner guidance because you know you came pre-approved, pre-loved, pre-accepted, pre-liked, pre-loved, pre-approved. Everything is right about you. And feel this freedom, freedom from judgments or labels that others have given or you've given yourself. Knowing you're a beautiful soul. You're not your weight or your wrinkles or your mistakes. You're an infinite being, a spiritual being in human form. Feel the sound of my voice drop the body, letting go, letting go, letting go. Feel the weight of the muscles taking you to a comfortable, comfortable, comfortable state. Feeling the stomach, feeling settled, feeling centered, feeling peaceful, feeling the heart flooded with this gentle, tender, nurturing, loving energy where you get, where you understand, where you see, I'm loved. You're completely and totally loved, unconditionally loved and feel this warmth. Imagine this warmth, this comfortable, cozy feeling flooding your chest, flooding the lungs, flowing through the bloodstream, joyful energy, nurturing energy, more and more showing up for your emotions, showing up for the negative thoughts, not judging yourself for feeling angry or mad, realizing that there's love behind those emotions. You just want things to work out. You want to make good choices that we can be crossing a street and we feel fear because something is moving fast towards us. That's beautiful. It can give us that extra adrenaline to follow our wisdom and to get out of the way. That 
just like we would for a child or a friend when we were in a centered and peaceful state. If they felt scared or sad or afraid, we would meet them with love. We would offer up maybe a different perspective. We would give information that would be helpful if it helped them to let go and release. Our emotions not only keep us safe and guide us, but they can give us pleasure. And let's breathe in these energies of curiosity, playfulness, more and more finding that you ask questions that guide you to the soothing, the comfort, the relief, where you open up to trust in source, God, higher power, infinite intelligence, the benevolent and loving universe, so that when a challenge comes up, you come from a place of curiosity. Ooh, I wonder how this is going to positively change me. I wonder how the universe is going to solve this. Bring me the solution, the clarity, the answer, my opportunity to let go, to let go, and to allow in. It is a universe on your side, a higher power that it's its joy and pleasure to gift to you, to give you uplifting thoughts, to give you solutions, clarity, answers, manifestations. Let the sound of my voice feel it, loosening the hips, the joints, feeling cushioned, feeling comforted. Let the sound of my voice relax the body, still the mind. Imagining healing taking place in your body millions of times faster than in the conscious state. Because it feels good to imagine it. Imagine what you label as your challenges or issues or problems. Imagine them as your opportunities to see things differently, to let go, to open up to allow, to receive, willing, to let go of limiting ideas and beliefs. Ideas or, or beliefs like, oh, this is the way it's always been. Well, that's what the doctor says. That's how everybody else thinks. And feel yourself go beyond, go beyond those beliefs. Letting go, letting go, dropping those beliefs like you might suitcases filled with junk you just drop it you release it you let it go you leave it behind and feel your body your spirit your mind feeling lighter and freer it is a benevolent and loving universe that's on your team on your side that there's angelic beings fairies of the universe However you understand it, love energy, magic, beauty, that's completely and totally there for you. You were meant to change more and more, letting yourself go with the flow, trusting the solution will come, the answer will unfold, things will work out for me, things will fall into place, things can change for the positive, that we came to be more like a river, not a stagnant pond. A river flows. Imagine a river during spring. Feel it filled with energy and vitality and movement coming up against obstacles like boulders and tree trunks and land mass. And it just takes the path of most allowing the path of least resistance. It goes under or over or through or around. It is safe to let go, to let go of having to be right. It is so much better to imagine positive things. It is so much better to look at things from a perspective 
that feel good to go to the energy of love to come from a place of compassion for yourself for others it is a no assertion universe and what that means is your support is there nobody can hold it back your help is there your answers your manifestation your solutions but there's more things to appreciate to enjoy to look forward to that you count your happiness counts that you're relevant that you have things to contribute and it's all there for you and imagine a beautiful river of light coming from above feel it flooding your being flooding your head cleansing, purifying, releasing, letting go, feel it loosen and relax as it flows from the top of the head to the cells of the body, flowing out through your feet, through your toes. You might feel warmth. You might feel tingling. You might feel cold. That's beautiful. That's just shifting and changing things unfolding, coming into balance, harmony, releasing of the old ideas and beliefs that no longer serve you. Open and receptive to see things differently. You're doing beautifully. You're doing beautifully. You're doing beautifully that the path and the way that you want to take is love. And love feels light. It's an energy of playfulness and curiosity. It's an energy that can see loss from a different perspective. That brings you appreciation, that connects you to higher truth. You're doing beautifully. You're doing beautifully. Letting go of any unnecessary reason for pain or suffering. I let go, I let go. Feel these mantras flooding your bones of unnecessary pain, unnecessary struggle. I let things be more light and easy and effortless. I allow in my answers, my support. There's beautiful soul that you're going to connect with. Beautiful opportunities. You came to feel awake and alive, that you came to create and manifest. And we manifest with our thoughts so that we go to thoughts of appreciation. We feel good. We look at things from a perspective of softness so that we can let go of the past. You were never, ever supposed to relive any negative experience. You lived it already. It's done. It's history. It's old news. And it's all lined up that you take forth the clarity, the preferences. Like, oh, I like people that are nurturing and loving and supportive. I like having plenty of money in the bank. I like having a thriving business. I like making positive choices. I like being people being kind and nurturing and loving to me. I like being creative. I like laughing and playing. I like seeing that I can go to unconditional love so that no matter what, I can look at things in a way where I see it the positive so that you have a friend going through divorce and you're able to go to that higher perspective of knowing Oh, this is going to work out for her. There's going to be so many positive changes that unfold, that line her up for more joy, more happiness. You're doing beautifully. You're doing beautifully. You're doing beautifully. That it feels good to feel good. It feels good to be curious and playful, to be like that curious scientist. So that you ask yourself, how can I look at this differently? So that it would open me up to the playfulness, to the fun. 
how could I let go of the seriousness so I feel more light and at ease and peaceful and comfortable with myself? You're not the past. You're not your past choices. You're not your past mistakes. You're not destined to repeat your parents or your siblings or family members' history. You're unique. You're beautiful. Feel this feeling of being flooded with this energy that feels like a fresh start, that feels like purity, that feels like knowing that things are coming. It feels good to be light and playful when you're in that playful, creative, curious state. You can have kids that you're trying to get off to school and you tap into that lighter energy where you don't take things so seriously, where you feel the lightness and the being of being alive so that from that beautiful space you notice you're not offering up resistance, that they become more cooperative, that good ideas flow and come, that you put things in a broader perspective so that more and more you notice you don't make things such a big deal. And feel Source, infinite intelligence, spirit, the benevolent and loving God, universe. Feel this love energy, this energy of health and vitality and aliveness flooding the scalp, soaking into the brain, a clear brain, willing, willing to know that things can improve, things can get better, I can learn, I can change, that my body is intelligent, brilliant, that it can heal, that it can rejuvenate, that it can restore, that it can come back into balance with their solutions and answers for me. Feel yourself open, open to let go of limited ideas and beliefs that don't serve you and just go to that energy that just feels light, peaceful, where you don't have to sort through it. You don't have to figure it out. You just go to that energy of love. You're doing beautifully. You're figuring things out. You're finding your way. You're doing the best that you can, given your knowledge, wisdom, and abilities, and feel, I am willing. I am willing to see my past differently, to see the beauty that was born from it, to look at the positives, to feel appreciation for the support and the help that I've received, whether it's just appreciating your parents for giving you life, appreciating your caretakers for providing food or a home, willing to see things from a perspective where you feel empowered, willing to let go of any victimhood patterns of thought. Not because you have to, because it works better. It feels good to feel good. And in that place, the magic flows, the clarity, the knowledge, the wisdom, the good ideas, the inspiration, and the impulse to act on the wisdom and the inspiration. You're doing beautifully. You're doing beautifully. You're doing beautifully. Feel this freedom to let go of made-up ideas or beliefs that have held you back from feeling beautiful and beloved. Letting go of any attachment to your body fat. Letting go of using it as an excuse to not feel good enough. Letting go of any negative verbiage, any actions or words that flowed and came from others. You get to be like that wonderful duck in water just feel I get to let that beat off me like water off the duck's back because you are not a diagnosis you are not your past you are not your mistakes or failures or your body size you are not wrinkles or or gray hair or a skin condition feel like a hot air balloon that releases its heaviness 
and wait. You let go. You let go. I am willing to let all of that go. I am willing to feel at peace, to feel comfortable with myself, and feel peaceful even if you don't feel comfortable with yourself. Need any of the negative thoughts? Or limiting ideas or beliefs, and how do we know that they're negative? Because it doesn't feel good. Just feel a willingness to meet them with love. We don't have to pretend that we have beliefs that don't serve us. We don't have to pretend that we don't have negative thoughts. It is part of being human. It is normal. It is beautiful. You're doing beautifully. You're. Doing beautifully, you are a beautiful, beautiful soul, beloved. You're approved of. Everything is right about you. You weren't supposed to have it all together. You're not supposed to be good at everything. You're not supposed to have it all figured out. That you're supposed to be needy, and that's a beautiful thing. You need oxygen. You need water. You need food. Connection, friendship, interesting and engaging things to do. You didn't come. To be an island unto yourself, and source, God says it's all there for you. It's already created. It's already done. And feel this relief, this relief, letting go of any timetables. You're an eternal, infinite being. Let things unfold. Trusting source, universe, God. Higher power, infinite intelligence, Allah, whatever your labels, the love energy works wherever you're at. Because one positive thought overrides a million negative thoughts. That good is divine. Well-being rules. It's the most powerful energy in the universe. The love energy. Feel this freedom. To let go of judging yourself for being a normal human being, you are not the past. You are not what others have thought about you or what you've thought about yourself. You are a spiritual being in human form. You are love. You are light. You are beauty. Let the sound of my voice relax the body, still the mind. Maybe friends have rejected you, kids have rejected you, parents have rejected you. You came in pre-loved, pre-approved, or pre-accepted. But the past is the past. That that's old news. That you get to tap into this love energy and feel it like maybe a dog basking out in the sun. On a beautiful day, or a cat soaking up the sun on a windowsill, where they're completely at ease and comfortable and relaxed. This feeling of there's nothing you have to do, letting go of efforting, letting go of seriousness or heaviness or trying, willing to be more light, more playful, more curious. Showing up for yourself by being curious. I wonder how I could look at this differently, so that I would feel compassion and love for this friend, this family member, this this individual that I'm bumping up against in life. I wonder how I could let go and relax more. Saying yes to the things that make you feel connected and alive. So maybe that's going out and taking walks, lining yourself up so that it's easy to drink lots of water, listening to uplifting programs or infor- informative programs that bless you. More and more having fun, saying yes to the thought. To the life choices that nurture, support, and bless you, but notice, notice, notice your thoughts in a loving way, an encouraging way, a soft way, so that you let go of any reason to beat up on yourself, willing to feel beautiful, even 
If you have physical handicaps, willing to feel good, even if you feel like you have mental handicaps, source, God, infinite intelligence, the benevolent and loving universe says you are beautiful, you are relevant, you are loved, you are pre-accepted, pre-approved of that life can work out for you right where you're at. Life works out for you. We don't have to have everything together. It's okay if we have weaknesses or faults or what others label as weaknesses and faults. We have everything that we need to thrive. And if you're not thriving, just meet yourself with love. Just feel the soft energy of things can change and they can change quickly. But there's comfort there for me. There's relief. There's higher, softer, lighter thoughts or solutions and answers. Feel yourself opening up to the creative energy. Good ideas flow to me. That you have good ideas. You have things to offer up. You count. Your happiness counts. That source, God, infinite intelligence, the benevolent and loving universe says yes to your abundance your prosperity, your well-being that wants you to laugh and play and enjoy and have fun and feel the relief of letting go, letting go of pushing or efforting or trying to make things happen, taking the time to soothe your fears, to show up for the sadness, to remind yourself we like being happy. Feeling happy is so much better than feeling sad. And just feel a willingness, tapping into the energy of playful. Maybe you go back to a time when you were a little kid. Maybe you were blowing bubbles or giggling or laughing or running around with a friend. Going to the energy of lightness. And don't beat up on yourself if you don't go to these energies. No big deal. Welcome to the human race. They're there. Those memories are there. Those memories are there. Going to the energy when you felt creative. Ah, oh, it feels good to feel creative. Ah, oh, stuck doesn't feel good, but creative feels good. Creative feels good. More and more noticing when you go to the energies that feel like closed off, self righteous stuck, reminding yourself, oh, that's right. I like to feel good. Getting curious. What thought could I have that would guide and direct me to a place where I felt at ease? I felt comfortable. I looked at things from a broader perspective, a compassionate perspective, a lighter perspective, a higher perspective, a spiritual perspective. You are a spiritual being in human form. You're not supposed to have it all together. The benevolent and loving God, universe, intimately cares for you. You count. Your happiness counts. Every time you listen to this recording, feel a release. Feel things shift and move and change. The body balancing, harmonizing, healing. Feel like an organic computer that you're deleting old programs, relaxing, releasing, tapping into your wisdom, tapping into your clarity, bringing it into your life. It is fun to follow our wisdom. It is fun to remember the things that blessed us. Maybe you did meditations, you stretched, you did a daily hypnosis, you did self-hypnosis throughout the day. You took the time to eat healthy foods. You belong to different groups or you reached out to different friends or you read uplifting, inspiring books, remembering, remembering the things that served you, blessed you and let it unfold in its own beautiful way. We don't need to accomplish everything at once. The joy is in the evolution and the becoming, but feel that sense of, yes, I am willing. I'm willing 
to repeat, to do the things that have blessed me, whether it's organizing or bringing something together, whether it's writing in your journal, whether it's developing an appreciation practice, taking the time to prepave the way for success so that you take the time to see things differently, to look at a mother-in-law differently, a father-in-law differently, willing to feel good, to feel provided for, taken care of, willing to see your blessing. It is a benevolent and loving God universe. The divine energy is on your side, on your team, there for you. If it's time to drop into a beautiful, deep, deep healing sleep, just go deeper and deeper and deeper. If you're listening to this during the day and it's time to go about your day, feel your body becoming awake and alert and feel real change. The molecular structure of your body changed. That things have shifted and changed for you and bringing it into your conscious life. You're doing beautifully, seeking out things that bless you, taking the time to do things that bless you, uplift you, bring nourishment and love that uplift you, that make you feel hopeful and optimistic, that make you feel glad to be alive. So as you're ready, if it's time to go about your day, open up your eyes. If it's time to drop into a deep, deep healing sleep, drop deeper and deeper and deeper. Imagining healing taking place millions of times more quickly than in the conscious state. Imagine like an organic computer that has this wonderful antivirus program. Imagine any programs that don't serve you being deleted, being released, being erased, being let go of. You came pre-loved, pre-approved, pre-accepted that you have everything that you need to thrive. 